Pakistan and India two neighboring countries have the conflict over Kashmir issue since their formation these two rival countries are claiming Kashmir as their part and they have fought three deadly wars for Kashmir in 1940 1965 and 1971 now Pakistan and India have become nuclear powers One of the biggest threats to the world is a nuclear war and today it is more likely that Pakistan and India could trigger the nuclear war it would be the Kashmir the flash point of the nuclear war and the world any time war could erupt between these two countries therefore they are raising in arms instead of testing long range missiles that could penetrate deep and the rival country Pakistan is now mostly testing short range missiles. In this video we will explain why Pakistan is more focusing on short range missiles than long range ballistic missiles. India is much bigger country in term of population, land and resources. Therefore India has designed Cold Start Doctrine aims to quickly and efficiently utilize its military power for a conventional war against Pakistan by keep going attacks to disable Pakistan's nuclear retaliation capability. The nuclear power countries always keep the use of nuclear weapons a last option and when the hostile country has also nuclear capability then both countries avoid a full scale war. International pressure also prevents nuclear countries from triggering the nuclear war. Initiating a full-scale nuclear war would not be in the favor of Pakistan in case of a conventional attack by India. And delay may also turn the situation worse. Therefore, Pakistan is developing low-yield nuclear bombs and testing short-range nuclear-capable missiles in the response of Indian Cold Start Doctrine in the last year 2019 when the tension was its peak Pakistan tested several short range nuclear missiles to show its preparedness against Indian doctrine tactical nuclear weapons are small in size with low yield used for hitting specific targets without causing mass destruction but still more destructive than conventional weapons These weapons are generally designed for use on the battlefield. Pakistan could use the tactical nuclear weapons against Indian troops on its soil. There would not be any external pressure preventing Pakistan from doing this, and it would not be considered an initiative of triggering a nuclear war. Hatha for Nasr is the missile Pakistan has designed for the battlefield. This missile has the range of only 70 km. but with the nuclear capability and tremendous speed of mag 7 it can be more deadly for indian troops on pakistan soil and across the border pakistan is developing a full spectrum deterrence capability to deter all forms of aggression the tactical nuclear weapons could also help pakistan in the case of a full scale nuclear war these weapons are not for deeper penetration in the hostile country but these can be used to clear the enemy's defense line allowing other weapons to penetrate deep in the hostile country pakistan has also medium range ballistic missiles capable of targeting any part of india but pakistan is no more fully relying on these missiles because india is going to acquire the most advanced anti missile system s400 from russia the short range missiles Pakistan is developing are mostly nuclear capable cruise missiles ranging from 200 to 750 km. Their different variants enable them to be launched from land, air and sea. Pakistan could use these short range cruise missiles to destroy the Indian defense line, important installations in the western part and coast line. The New Delhi that is only about 400 km from Pakistan is also under the range of Pakistan's short range cruise missiles Pakistan could hit specific targets and the new delhi to pressurize india without initiating a full scale nuclear war 
The tactical nuclear weapons can be easily heightened, mobilized and launched from anywhere in a short time. If the nuclear installations of Pakistan are seized or destroyed, even then Pakistan would be able to retaliate with these weapons.